Hey, my name is James Wilkinson and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now in this video, we're going to talk about should you buy a property now or should you wait until 2024? It's a good question. It's a question a lot of people are thinking about and some people have already decided to sit out and with a wait and see approach. You can see that with all the data, there are less people registered to buy. There are less properties for sale at the moment. So what should you do? Let's have a look in more detail. Now, this channel is all about my investment journey and your investment journey. And I want to invite you along on the ride together because we have new content every single day on what's going on in the market, new strategies, what's working right now in property. We go behind the scenes on deals that we're doing. So while you're here, take that finger of power, smash that subscribe button over there and hit the bell notification and hit the like button as well, guys. That really helps me with the YouTube gods. So why wouldn't you buy? right now let's have a look at that first well you wouldn't buy right now because interest rates are high right they've risen 11 times in a row and they are significantly higher than they have been for the last 15 or so years and so that means borrowing money is more expensive affordability is also lower so that's one thing that we should be considering as well. Next is the house prices have been going down. So who's to say that house prices aren't going to go down again? And you buy now and then there's a 50% crash, which some people think may happen, uh, especially in the comments on some of our videos, right? And so that is a possibility. No one can rule out what will happen. Um, I don't think it's likely, but... It is a possibility. So some people just want to time the market. Um, right now, there are also less properties. So there's less properties for sale, right? So you have slightly less options than you would have previously. And so these things here mean that for some people, they're looking at this and saying, you know what? I'm going to wait until the interest rates start to drop. But we can't say for certain that that's going to happen. Historically, interest rates have been over 5%. More recently, since 2008, they've been lower than 1%. But that could change. Uh, we don't know for sure. Are the rates going to go up? Are they going to go down? The Bank of England is indicating that they feel interest rates are pretty much at a peak. right? With price drops, the OBR, they've said that they feel that we will have some more price declines, not as bad as what they're expecting. They feel that over the next two years, we will have declines of around 10% total, not 10% per year, roughly 5% a year. It's not quite 5%, is it? Uh, but it's around 10% total by the end of next year. Uh, we've already had a 3% drop annually now. Uh, and so coupled with that, yeah, prices could go down. There's less property on the market for sure. Loads of people just sit there right now uh, with a wait and see approach. So those are the reasons why you might not buy. Why would you buy? Why am I buying? Why am I looking for deals at the moment? Well, I think interest rates have peaked. And so I know that if I can get a deal to work today, that it's unlikely that I'm going to end up on a worse interest rate if I took that for five years, say, for example, uh, I'd be confident. No one can know for sure. You never know when you do a deal what's going to happen at the back end of that deal. But I'm confident that in a five-year cycle, whether prices drop 20% between now and the next couple of years, I think that in five years, we'll be back up where we need to be, right? So that's a good positive thing. I think interest rates will either be where they are now, I suspect, that they will be lower. So I know if I can get a deal to work today, I've got the option to fix it on five years. That gives me the certainty. Myself, I would probably fix it on a two-year deal, right? So that's good. Uh, you can put cheeky offers in at the moment. Um, you couldn't do that two years ago or a year ago because the market was so busy, it just wouldn't work like that, right? And so right now, the people that are selling, some of them are selling because they need to sell. They want a fast sell. If you can come in without a chain, with certainty that you're going to complete on that deal, people do take cheeky offers. Uh, that wasn't happening for a while. It is an option now. So that's a consideration. Now, the next thing is more for me. Uh, I'm going to look at deals in this market in particular 
So I'm looking for deals with high cash flow. What does that even mean? Well, I'm looking for deals where I can turn it, or it is an HMO, house of multiple occupancy. That's where I'll take a property and rent it out on a room by room basis. Now you need to get educated on that. You need to make sure you've got licenses and stuff like that. Not particularly difficult when you know how, but those give you high cash flow and that will protect you from inflation, interest rate hikes uh, and stuff like that. So you need to look at stuff like that. Other options, uh, so one is HMOs. Another option, which I would look at, which I have, uh, is a serviced accommodation, right? And that's where you have a property and you rent it out on Airbnb or somewhere similar like that. High cash flow strategies, they're good. Now, another reason why I'm looking to inf invest is because of inflation, right? My money sitting in the bank is losing me money. In fact, the buying power is going down 10% a year at the moment. Now, that will drop. Inflation is expected to drop over the next few months. But right now, it is running rampant. And that means that cash in the bank is not a smart place to leave that. So that's uh, really something that I would consider. Now, another thing with all of the deals that I would be looking for is somewhere where I can add value, right? I wouldn't be looking at just a vanilla buy to let. I don't look at new build properties. I'm not interested. All of my properties are at least 20 years old. I'm just not interested in new builds because in a new build, it might be somewhere where I live myself. The house that I live in myself is less than 15 years old, but I'm not interested in new build properties as an investment because they lose value very quickly early on. They take longer to go up in value initially and I just don't see where I can add value. So what do I mean by adding value? Well, look, in 2023, if I can find a one-bed property that I can turn into a two-bed property, I have no worries, absolutely no worries, about whether the market goes down 10%. I'm just not worried at all because I'm able to add value that would add easily more than 10% in value to the property. Does that make sense, right? Uh, and so why would I be worried? I'll just crack on, do the deal, make sure I fix it on a good interest rate, and that's beating inflation. Now, I'm not going to get as good returns as I could have got for the last couple of years because the market went crazy, but it still works out. And that's still very, very good. And so I want to look at places where I can add value. So that means buying from auction. It means buying off market, below market value, where I can add additional bedrooms, where it needs a refurbishment. Maybe if you want a bigger project, you can add an extension onto that property. Maybe you can take a property, convert it into an HMO. When you can add value to the property, you're making that property that much safer as an asset. We bought in Doncaster, if you've watched the channel. There's tons of videos on this channel if you go back and watch, so that's why you need to subscribe. Uh, we bought in Doncaster for 60K. We spent 12K doing it up. It got revalued at 100K. That was about 3K in costs. Uh, and so we added, we built in 25% equity into that property, additional equity into that property straight away. And that is adding value to a property. And if you do that, if you can do, if I can find more of these deals here, where I can add 25% in equity to the property, I'm not fussed if the market goes down 10%. And also, I don't look at it on an annual basis. I'm in property for the long term. I've no, I've never ever sold a property in my life. I have no intentions of selling any properties in my life. Uh, I just want to keep my properties and renting them out and creating income. As the value goes up, I want to use those properties to release equity to buy more property. And so it's not about timing the market. That's what a lot of people want to do. They want to time the market. Their expectation is that they'll time the market when the interest rates start coming down and the prices dip that little bit further. There's no certainty on that. You can't do that in stocks. You can't do that in property. You can't do that in Bitcoin. Some people get lucky, but most people, you never know when the bottom is. So it's all about time that you're in the market. How long do you own that property? If you own it for one year, it's a lot more risky that you could lose value on that property. But if you buy a property in 2023 and you intend to keep that property to 2050, 2060, 2070, it's going to work out good. However, 
good or bad the market is over the next few years. And if you can fix an interest rate today for five years, two years, three years, I don't know, whatever you fix it for, and the rent is high enough that it covers that mortgage, and then you're going to earn income off that, then why wouldn't you do this? Why wouldn't you be investing today, right? There's so much doom and gloom out there. There are still some great deals out there. And that's my opinion on it. So should you buy? Yes, if you find a good deal. Can you do a, a buy-to-let deal in the south of England right now? Probably not. So looking the north, or if you want to invest in the south, turn it into a HMO or serviced accommodation. That's the stuff that's working. Loads of people will comment below saying, I'm not going to invest at the moment. You're bonkers. You're telling people to invest at the moment. Yeah, I'm telling people to invest in deals that stack up and work. If you buy a house in Doncaster, for example, or in Birmingham, for example, and you can buy a place that needs some work done, it, you can add that value done, maybe even do some of that work yourself. You add value, you build equity. The rent covers the mortgage payments. You fix that for five years, then why wouldn't you do it? That's my answer. So I'll be investing in 2023. I'd love to know what you think. Comment below, subscribe to the channel, do smash the like button, check out all the other content, including this video right here.